beauties welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel thank you so much for clicking on this video without further ado if you want to know how i got this beautiful full coverage face beat then please keep on watching okay love so i've already applied moisturizer and sunscreen to my face and now we're moving on to primer primer is important because it blurs out any blemishes and fills in any large pores on our face as you can see my skin is not smooth and perfect but i'm going to apply a little bit and use my hands to make sure that that product really sips into my skin take time to massage these products into your face so that your skin is able to absorb your products And now I'm going to use a liquid illuminator just to add a little bit of glow to my face. I am not going for a dewy look but I still do want a little bit of shine in my face just to look natural and that is why I'm using this illuminator. As you can see I'm blending it out with my fingers just to make sure that it doesn't come out blotchy. You can use a brush but I really love to have that control over my products. And I've applied this liquid illuminator over the high points of my face where I know the sun will hit me. And now I'm going to use this eyeshadow primer just to make sure that the product really sticks and latches onto my face. I have oily skin and sometimes product just moves around my face and it doesn't look cute. So I learned a tip that using an eyeshadow primer actually helps the product stick onto your face for longer. So if you didn't know that I suggest you go get an eyeshadow primer and use it wherever you apply concealer or anywhere on your face where you feel like product tends to move a lot. Once again, I prefer to use my hands but if you're working on someone else's face, I suggest you use a brush for this. Remember to massage these products into your skin. We need them to absorb. And now I'm going to use some setting spray just to mattify my skin. As I said, I have oily skin. So this is just making sure that all those pores are closed. And because we are going for a full coverage look, I'm going to use some mattifying compact powder just to mattify the skin. And this will also help minimize the appearance of my blemishes. As you can see, I'm applying it directly where I have dark acne scars just to make sure that when we apply foundation over it, they will be concealed. Because I'm not using a color corrector, I prefer to use a setting powder. And I'll be using a foundation as the base for my concealer. This is a lighter shade of foundation and I'm using the brush that I use to cover out my brows to apply that foundation underneath my eyes where I would normally apply concealer. This is honestly one of my favorite tricks for concealer because sometimes I would apply setting powder and the concealer would just move. But when I put a base of foundation, it looks so flawless and so smooth. So I suggest that you really try this, especially if you're not a fan of concealer. Just try a lighter shade of foundation and you will still have that full coverage look. And this is how we look. Now moving on to foundation, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. It is a medium to full coverage foundation. It's very buildable and that is why I love it. It's also very affordable. So if you're a baddie on a budget, I would recommend this foundation. And I'm just going to apply swabs of it on my face. And I'm going to use a damp beauty sponge to blend this out. Throughout this tutorial, you will see me applying setting spray. This just helps maintain that matte look and I'm going to blend out that foundation I won't really go to the lighter foundation I'll just start with the one on my face which is more darker and I'm only going to blend out the harsh edges of the lighter foundation I won't go directly up to my under eyes I prefer to blend out the edges of the lighter foundation first because I want that foundation to be as pigmented as possible. I still apply the lows of concealer to this foundation so just let it sit on your face so that you get the best possible pigment. 
and this is the coverage after just one application of the foundation and now i'm going to go over with a little bit more foundation over the blemishes and spots that i feel are not covered up enough the thing about a full coverage look is that you can't just go in once if you are really looking for that full coverage look you need to build it up and by building it up it means apply your first layer let it sit on your face for a while so that you can actually see how it looks and then you apply a second layer applying your foundation in layers helps minimize cakiness instead of going with one huge load of foundation try to build up your foundation next time and now i'm going to blend out the lighter shade of foundation as you can see the method of blending i'm using is not to wipe away the product i'm simply just patting the product in place i'm not really moving it anywhere this will make sure that you get the best possible coverage of that foundation because when you drag your products you tend to minimize the amount of pigment that is in the product so rather just pat it into your skin instead of trying to wipe it away or move or distribute that product keep it in one place and just keep on patting this method of blending just enhances the full coverage look unlike if we're going for a medium coverage look then it would be easier to just move product or distribute it evenly throughout the face but because girl we're going for that full cakey look i mean just look at the difference look at the coverage already And now I'm going to apply concealer. This is a very light shade. This is my preference. I do like a very light shade of concealer, but you can go obviously a little bit darker. And I'm going to apply just a little bit on the inner corners of my under eyes. And I'm also going to apply a little bit for my nose contour and a dab on my chin. And then for contour, I'm going to go in with a darker shade of concealer just to make sure that we look snatched and chiseled now my forehead is pretty wide and that is why i draw lines or strokes inwardly to my face just to make sure that we create the illusion of a more smaller forehead and i'm applying some setting spray onto a brush which i'm going to use to blend out that contour because my face is very round and overlooking, I prefer to blend out my contour upwards, but this will differ depending on your face shape. This is just what works for me. And as you can see, I'm not moving or distributing the product. I'm simply just patting it into place. Now, as you can see, there are some strokes on my forehead and I'm going to use a damp beauty sponge to just blend that out and make sure that the contour and that light foundation just blends and melts in together. Please excuse my lip syncing. I was listening to Ariana Grande. <laughs> so embarrassing and now i'm just going to set my concealer i prefer to start with the one on my chin and just let that sit and also above my lip area so i apply the compact setting powder on those areas i prefer not to use a loose setting powder because i don't really want those places to pop and stand out i just want them to look matte and now i'm going to do my nose contour just to snatch that nose get it looking skinny and thin and i'm going to blend that out with a damp beauty sponge as well and then i'm going to blend out that concealer underneath my eyes as you can see the method once again is pressing in that product into the skin i think the most important thing about a full coverage look is you want to press in the products you don't really want to move them you just keep on want to lock it in one place and once you're done blending it there only then can you distribute the product make sure you blend out the edges of your concealer and now I'm going to bake my under eyes using the Makeup Revolution Banana Loose Setting Powder and I'm going to press that powder into that concealer using a dry sponge. You can use a damp one, this just depends on your preference. And over that loose powder, I'm going in with a compact mattifying powder. This just helps create a more mattifying look. You don't need two 
now as you can see i was pressing in that product into the skin and i'm just going to use a brush just to remove any excess powder and only then will i start baking by applying loose setting powder on top of that first layer that we had made this one is just going to sit there for a while i like the first one which we just wiped away it was just to help make sure that we have that mattifying look and minimize the appearance of fine lines under my eyes and i'm going to repeat the same trick on the other under eye as you can see you pat 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 before you blend out the edges and then apply a loose setting powder pat it into the skin go in with a mattifying powder on top and then you brush it away using a dry brush and then you apply some loose setting powder to start baking Now I'm going to use that compact powder to just define that contour. I'm not going to apply a lot because that is not the look that I'm going for. Now I prefer to bronze my face using brown eyeshadow palette colors and I love this Huda Beauty one as I tap off the excess on the back of my hand I am going to apply it onto my face. I learned this trick from Saweetie and this has honestly helped me have less harsh lines on my face because when you put product directly on your face you do have a lot of pigment so it's better to just tap off a little bit of excess on the palm or the back of your hand just to make sure that your face will be smooth and blended i also bronze my nose a little bit now this trick has been such a game changer for the temples of my forehead it just gives an amazing glow shimmer bronzes are not everybody's favorite but it is amazing i mean just look at that glow And then I'm going to go in with a damp beauty sponge just to minimize that harsh line we created with that setting powder. This just helps everything look blended. And then I'm going to use a brush just to wipe away all that powder that we had applied for the baking process. And once again, I'm going to go in with that same damp beauty sponge just to go over that setting powder. This helps minimize ashiness as well and it also helps prevent flashback. And then I'm going to apply some blush just to add some more vibrant colors to my face. When I feel I applied a lot of blush or I want to blend it in with the setting powder, I go in with a dry sponge and just blend the two together. Once more, we're going to apply some setting spray just to mattify that skin and apply some highlighter. And I'm going to use the same one from the eyeshadow palette. I don't add any highlighter to my cheeks but I do love some highlighter on my nose and the inner corners of my eyes and darlings this is the look I'm going to apply something on my lips but this is the full coverage matte look I hope you enjoyed it Oh hey there beautiful, if you have made it to the end of this video, please don't forget to subscribe down below for more content like this and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. But if you have any more questions for me or any video recommendations, please comment them down below or DM me on my Instagram at guguacha. All the details are in the description box so don't forget to check that out but thank you so much for watching this video. I love you, stay beautiful, stay blessed, period. Bye.